name is Thea and this is going to be my December TBR. So going into December, I didn't really know what I wanted to read. Um, everything I've kind of wanted to read I've read already or it was something that I like didn't really like specifically want to read in December. So I kind of just started pulling things off my shelf. I was like, oh yeah, you know, maybe I'll read that before the end of the year. Or, Ooh, I can read that, finish out this series. So I've got kind of a weird selection of four books and two graphic novels. My main thing is participating in Tis the Seasonathon, so all of my holiday kind of Christmassy books are going to be read during that. And um, I will post that video down below if you haven't seen it already. Um, so I kind of wanted to separate that from my like December TBR because my December TBR is just a randomness of books. And so um, I will just show you guys what I plan on reading in December. So these are in no particular order, just kind of whatever's going to pull off the stack first. And the first thing that I see here is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I did haul this recently, and I'm trying to get stay on top of like books that I haul recently because I'm just getting a backlog of stuff. So I figured, you know what, this would be kind of maybe the perfect thing to pick up in December just because after some like short holiday reads, I might kind of want to just be kind of craving. And I've been craving a really good high fantasy novel lately. And so I figured this would be the perfect thing to pick up. I hauled it recently. I'm trying to get caught up, trying to stay on top of books that I haul on a regular basis. And it's something I've been wanting to read for a while, so I'm hoping that I can get to this this month. I've also got a backlog of Book of the Month books that I'm trying to get caught up on, and this one kind of feels like a wintry themed book, so I would like to go ahead and try to pick up Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. This just kind of has a wintry feel, and it's kind of another high fantasy that I've been kind of craving, so um, I figured I would try to go ahead and pick this up. This is kind of a reimagining of Rumpelstiltskin, and um, I've heard really great things about it and everyone kind of really loves Uprooted and, and I've heard really great things about it and I'm trying to get caught up on my backlog of Book of the Month. So this kind of seemed like another thing that would be perfect to pick up this month. And then the two graphic novels I'd like to pick up this month are Revival Volume 3, Escape a a faraway place and revival volume four escape to wisconsin these aren't really christmasy themed but they do kind of take place in wisconsin during the winter so they do kind of have more of like a wintry feel um basically the series follows our main character dana cypress who is kind of a police officer in this like rural town and one day all of a sudden people start coming back to life and most of them are like family members and friends of people who are still living in this town and most of them are pretty like non-violent they just kind of you know want to go ahead and live their life but there are some that are violent and it's kind of about this town dealing with it and kind of also a murder mystery because you learn in the very first volume um that dana's sister has died and come back to life and she didn't even know her sister had died to begin with so it's also kind of a murder mystery about figuring out who murdered her sister and it's just like kind of the perfect wintry read so i go I'd definitely like to go ahead and pick these two volumes up as well I also have Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner on my December TBR. Um, I hauled this way back in January when I first when it first came out. I actually went to the launch party and they both signed my book. So I feel like I really need to get to this before the sequel comes out in early 2019. And I tried reading it when it first came out and I just was not in the mood for it. But I feel like I'm definitely in the mood for it now. I've just been craving some really good like sci-fi fantasy. So I'm really excited to hopefully dive into this this month as well. And the last two books on my TBR, if I can get to them, are rereads. And that's going to be Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. And this Earlier this year, I read Goblin of Fire and Order of the Phoenix. I figured what better way to finish out the year than to finish out my reread of these two books. Um, um, so I don't think I've read these since they've come out, so I'm really excited to dive back into them and after not having read them in so long. I know um, Harry Christmas to You is also happening in December, so I can go ahead and participate in the read-along with those when they happen. Um, but I'm really excited to finish out the series. I love Harry Potter. It's one of my favorite series of all time. I think it's a lot of people's favorite series and I feel like it's always kind of the perfect read to read around the Christmas time. So I'm really excited that I can hopefully get to these two as well. So here is my over ambitious December TBR. Holy crap. I just realized all of these books are super long. Um, I'm definitely not going to get to all of these in December. I can get to one, maybe two. Um, 
Holy crap. Um, but but I would like to get to all of these. Um, I'd love any opinions about what you guys, if you guys have read any of these or any thoughts, comments, and opinions. What are you guys reading in December? Are you participating in Tis the Season a Thon? Um, as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Um, happy reading, happy holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!